So welcome back to London Vegans everybody, my name is Phil and I'm joined today by my very good friend Conleth. Woo! <laughs> and it's been a long time coming actually because I've been meaning to chat to you for a while because you've been vegan for, is it a year? I went vegan on the 1st of January to do Veganuary and I just stuck with it because I loved it so much. Yeah, it's been really really easy being vegan I think that was the biggest fear was becoming a vegan and not knowing what to cook not knowing where to shop the social aspect because when you go out for dinner with friends you think oh I hope we go to a restaurant that serves a vegan option or oh, I don't want to be the odd one out where you create trouble at the you know the dining table and people people have to cook something completely different for you and they invite you over but actually it's it's so much easier than I thought it would be there's so many options now I, d I don't think there's any excuse not to go vegan really now well I think we're spoiled for choice living in London that's definitely. true uh, but I went home recently to Northern Ireland and I went out for breakfast with my mum and dad and I said <laughs> I said to the people that work in the cafe, do you do vegan breakfast? And they went, not really. And I, I said, well, do you have any veg? And they're like, yeah. And I thought, we'll cook something up. You know, yeah. even my mum and dad who have cooked a certain way their whole life. Now when I go home, they're being creative. You know, just being creative in the supermarket, going down different aisles, yeah. checking out the labels on things. Yeah, and I think they've seen such a positive change in me. It's still great to educate that older generation on better ways to eat. Although I've never pushed my way of eating on someone. You know, this it's my choice and uh, it's my decision to be a vegan. So I, I, I'm not, I would never push it on anyone. But what I can say is that it has been an absolutely positive, life-changing experience. I'm going to be giving you the chance to do some taste testing Ooh, okay. so it's fab fudge they sent us some stuff I think it was about two years ago and their fudge is really nice this mm. is a protein fudge so it's Ooh. a perfect fudge for the gym that's something I wouldn't normally eat actually going to the gym but then I don't go to the gym so <laughs> go figure <laughs> see this would be good actually because I I practice Bikram yoga three days a week and I go to the gym maybe once or twice a week so I want to find something actually that's really fab before and after class because it's, it's important to, to gear yourself up for class and also to replenish after class as well. Let's have a close up. <laughs> mm. So there's, I'm presuming there's nuts and seeds in there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, it's very nutty, which is nice. I love nuts. What I love as well about being a vegan is that you can taste quality stuff in terms of uh, uh, this isn't I can tell there's hardly any if any sugar in this it's just a hundred percent wholesome natural ingredients I've become very sugar sensitive since becoming a vegan but yeah even when I take like a strawberry jam or something or no ketchup when I have ketchup I'm like whoa that tastes like candy floss <laughs> you know whereas before I used to like junk my chips in, in my ketchup like crazy and now it's really sweet to me a ketchup yeah. so I have to buy like organic ketchup for it to not have that like sour sweet taste this is really oh, good okay mm. now no, I'm gonna confess I did actually try one did you I, yeah I was so curious to what they were gonna be like and I, I completely agree because I think they were eight I think there were eight squares maybe ten squares in there and how many are left is it six one two three four five <laughs> Five, six, yes, you, have. <laughs> you don't get that sugar hit straight away. You get the cocoa and you get the flavor of the seeds and the nuts. You don't necessarily get the sugar, which I think is a good thing because I think sometimes, especially fudge, it can be overwhelming that sweetness and I don't like it too sweet. This is quality, it's yeah, really nice. I could tell this would be perfect to have before maybe an hour or two before and after a gym, just maybe one or two. This is like Christmas, yeah. So I've never heard of these seeds before. Are they nuts? nuts. Pe peely nuts? Raw and wild, organic peely nuts. High in vitamin E and magnesium. Mmm, that's good to know. Raw chocolate and coconut or turmeric and ginger. I am such a ginger fan. Yeah, I am as well. Yeah. I think it's because I'm a natural ginger. Okay, peely nuts. Turmeric and ginger. Since becoming vegan, I've definitely seen a shift in what I crave and um, even like stuff I like, I'm partial to a glass of really nice wine now and again and even sugar and wine I can taste it so unless it's organic wine and um, so I'm having trouble opening this yeah hold on <laughs> <laughs> am I doing this right this is a real test of your muscles <laughs> I know I just had two protein fudge come on I actually can't do it you go for it go. I don't know you can it's um it's one of those <laughs> right oh yeah oh wow they're quite big aren't they yeah 
they're amazing. One of the most nutritionally packed and appetizing <laughs> nuts on the planet. Really nice. Oh, wow. Oh, really good. They're like big almonds. I can taste more turmeric than I can ginger. What do you think? Uh, it's kind of equal. Yeah, it's quite a nice balance. Mm. I'm not getting one override. That handful had more ginger in it. Mm -hmm. So I guess, I guess you have to shake the bag, maybe. Really nice, like a real natural taste. Mm. Gluten free as well. Even though I don't have a gluten intolerance, I find myself naturally moving towards gluten free products. Okay. Um, all my pastas now I make gluten free. My breads. Those are really good. There you go. Ah, thanks for teaching me. <laughs> Give it a shake. Chocolate and coconut. Okay. I like the fact there's a sweet and savoury mm. one because that, that was kind of savoury, not too much though. It was a nice, oh my God. soft flavour. Are they good? They are incredible. <laughs> I much prefer th these. Oh, they're so good, aren't they? Oh, wow. Mm. I love raw chocolate though. Mm. Before I was vegan, I wasn't really a big chocolate eater, but now that I'm vegan, I love raw chocolate. Like, maybe I shouldn't say other brand names, but like Umbar and... Yeah. All of that. Oh, no, I'm, amazing. No, yeah. I'm craving chocolate, and before I didn't, I, I was never big into chocolate before I was a vegan. But these are really good. That's a really nice soft flavour as well, isn't it? It's not, it's not sweet. Yeah. It's like a natural sweetness. Yeah. They're really unusual nuts, aren't they? They're like, I'm trying to work out what they taste taste like. They remind me of almonds. Mmm. Really nice texture. Yeah, they're like um, they just disintegrate, don't they? Mm. Powdery. There is like a powder effect, like they literally dissolve on your tongue. Yeah. I think you could eat a full bag and not feel too full. I know, yeah. Does I that was make just sense? thinking that I could quite easily. <laughs> yeah, you could devour those. <laughs> yeah. yeah, really nice. They're really good. I will definitely, definitely be getting some of those. Oh, God. It really is like Christmas. <laughs> Thank you, Santa. Gourmet selection chocolate marshmallow biscuit, homemade as well. I'm guessing this is like a vegan equivalent of the wagon wheel, bars, okay. but maybe thicker. Ooh, I like the packaging. Oh wow. Oh wow. <gasps> Christmas. So what so we got four different flavours. Classic vanilla marshmallow, chai caramel, spiced apple, and molten mocha. And it's got um, really cute. Oh yes, so uh, this was yeah. So I'm assuming, paper. I'm assuming this would be a really good present for a vegan friend. Yeah? Take note. Okay, I'm gonna go for this one because I like the, the wrapping. They're really thick, aren't they? <laughs> Take so the whole thing. Thing. Yeah. Oh, la, la, la. Have you had any vegan cakes since you've been vegan? Even like, well, I guess you're not a sweet tooth though, are you? So. Not, I mean, not necessarily. Like, I mean, if I'm out for, there's been some really nice vegan carrot cakes along the way. I'm not big into marshmallow, so it maybe it is nice. Now this, this is a little bit on the sweet side for me, but I can tell that people who have a sweet tooth would absolutely love this. Yeah, it's, it's really nice. I could probably share this with someone, but I, couldn't see myself eating a full one. No, I wouldn't share with anyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's really nice. Not one, but two chai caramel centers for the completely seasonal dungeon indulgence. We have given you a double shot of chai spiced, sweet and gooey, dairy free caramel. That's good. Yeah, I can definitely taste the ginger. Okay, and maybe it's the aftertaste from the... See, I like that marshmallow as well, because it's quite thick. Yeah? It's not like, you know, I remember wagon wheels being really sticky and gooey. But that's not, that's more uh, a thick mallow. See, maybe that's why. Maybe I had really bad marshmallow in the past. So this is definitely something I would buy for a vegan friend at Christmas, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. I, know, I have vegan friends who I know would absolutely love this. I am like, on, on the sweet radar, I'm, I, I like, I'm pretty low. So, um, but I know friends who would absolutely devour these. I'm gonna try spiced apple, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Because I, I do, really I like do love flavor. a spice cider yeah. Christmas. By the way, all the details of these oh my God. prices and where you can find them will be uh, in our video description down below. Mm. You like that one? Oh yeah. <laughs> Flex your boat. This just tastes like Christmas. This is more up my street than the other flavor. It's so good, I'm gonna have another bite. I can get more <laughs> marshmallow this time. <laughs> mm-hmm. This is just the right level of sweet for me. So what I love about it as well, it tastes really sweet, but it doesn't taste like it's bad for you. This is excellent. This is really, really festive. I can taste like the apple spice. Um, the chocolate's really good. The chocolate's really good. Okay, ginger frost. 
here we go. No smell of it. Okay, I really see the taste is going to burst. Contemplating. Mm. <laughs> uh -huh. mm. Mm. Dreamy. Mm. Really festive, Christmassy taste. Like, I can just imagine having this with a cup of tea or a mulled wine as a treat. Re oh, really good actually. I used to love ginger nuts. I used to love dipping a ginger nut in my tea. Really lovely texture. Really nice gingery, festive taste going on. The chocolate is so good. The biscuit is amazing as well. The, the, the layer that's like sandwiches it. N again, not too sweet, just the right level of sweet for me. You've got more of a sweet tooth, what do you think? I have, yeah, let me try that. Okay, go. Mm. You can go for the last one. Mm. This is a mocha. Smooth, is this a smooth coffee? Oh, yeah. the molten mocha. Yeah. Okay, so, obviously color coded. <laughs> I feel like I'm on top of the pops. Bring back top of the pops. Yeah, they kind of look biscuity, don't they, on the, on the top? Oh, I love it. I didn't even notice it says yeah, eat so it me. Yeah, so it says eat me on the top. How sweet it's is like that? It's like Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. Right, okay, so nice chocolate around the outside. Yeah. I mean, that is like a proper wheel, isn't it? I modelled on the wagon wheels, I'm guessing. Um, and you've got the eat me on the bottom as well, so bottom, bottom on top. Right, okay. I love coffee as well. And you do as well, don't you? See, I just got into coffee in lockdown for the mm. first time in my life. Mm. Yeah. What do you think? No instant flavour. Okay. That might be because we tried the others though. So. Yeah. Yeah, to be fair, my taste buds are covered in ginger and chai. Yeah, um, I think that's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> my palate's been overloaded with yeah. all the different flavours. Turmeric. Yeah, it's taken a while for the coffee to hit. Yeah. It's nice though. I it's sometimes not, good because sometimes coffee flavoured things can be too strong. Overwhelming. Yeah, because yeah, that's really taken a while to... It's not like an overwhelming coffee flavour. Yeah. It's quite subtle. I think you'll really like that because, again, think? it's not too sweet. Okay. I can taste the coffee. Can you? Yeah, that's because I'm really sensitive to coffee. I've just really started drinking mm. it. My mum would love this. My mum's the one when you get the roses at Christmas, she's like, save me the coffee ones. <laughs> My mum would absolutely love this. Really nice, actually, yeah, lovely. Really you good. You know what to do for your mum now. Then yeah, it, it doesn't taste vegan. I think, as well, sometimes um, food that isn't vegan can be a bit, you know, have a lot of sugar and yeah, sweeteners yeah. and stuff in it. Um, whereas this, I'm assuming, is all natural goodness. So, and it's still really sweet and for anyone that has a sweet tooth, this would be amazing. Big thumbs up. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I fabulous. have a vegan friend who I'm definitely going to buy a box of these for Christmas. Check all the brands out uh, on the details below. We've got all the info in the description box. Connor, so good to see you. Thanks for having me. Uh, enjoy the rest of lockdown and yeah, may it be a short time in lockdown because it has been a pretty crazy year since March and we've got Christmas coming so we've got to celebrate now. Yeah. Happy and Christmas. <laughs> where can people find you by the way? On social media? Uh, follow me at Conleth Kane on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook and I'm going to be performing at Above the Stag in Vauxhall 4th and 5th of December. Yes. Tickets are on sale this week so please uh, come and support the show. It's going to be a night of live festive music. That's so exciting and we did do an interview a while back, a couple of months ago, so check out that video which is up there somewhere, it's linked above, because we did that on South Bank. We did. Was that a couple of months or was it longer? It was about six, seven weeks ago. Blimey, I am losing just all sense of reality. <laughs> I think to be fair, 2020 just rolls in the one, doesn't it? Yeah, <laughs> every day is like the others. <laughs> Good to see you though. Thank you. See you soon. Thanks Bye. for watching everyone.